Good afternoon, folks. Um, it's been a couple days. I'll show you what I've done so far. Um, I only do like an hour or so a day because I have shipping to do and listing and body hurts. So, but today I got, I don't know if you can see it, I got the rain gutter up here in the front all the way around. Um, I might have to put some little wedges on the brackets to get it a little straighter, but we'll see what happens. We got some clouds and 20% chance of rain today or tonight, which eh, I don't I don't think so But um, I will be putting another piece over here in the downspout to the filter And I'll show you that at the end when we get around that side but uh, The last video I showed you we got the totes and so this week I took the uh, cages off the totes I'm gonna be using reusing all but one um, I might even I might reuse them all. I don't, I don't know. I was thinking about the sump doing something different. And then I brought all the uh, containers, bottles they call them, I guess, back here so I can uh, get ready to start washing them, get them all cleaned out. Now I'm still debating. I know if you watch other aquaponic videos, but a lot of people cut these off. I don't know if I can show you. These bottles are marked. But here's a 200 gallon mark right here on the top. So that gives you about a foot here. A lot of people cut it right there and then use the top part of the grow bed. But I'm just kind of wondering, 200 gallons, um, I don't know if I want to do that for my fish tank or my sump tank. I haven't decided yet. Because um, I mean, that's 50, 70 gallons right there that um, I lose in the fish tank. So I'm just, I'm leaning towards just cutting off just the top around right here for both the sump and the fish tank. And I can make uh, other grow beds, but I mean, those would be nice for a grow bed. But like I said, I, I don't know if I want to lose that top portion. That's 70 gallons that in a fish tank Let's just say 50 gallons because of the curve if I cut the top off. But yeah, it's 70 gallons there. That's uh, one fish for every five gallons approximately. I mean, do the math. That's, ah, oh, I can't do the math. Um, that's a lot of fish. <laughs> or if it was 60 gallons, let's say 60 gallons, that's 12 fish. Um, so approximately 12 more fish I could have in that, in that tank if I just cut the very, very top off. Another 70 gallons in the sump, so leave plenty of room. So I'm still trying to decide that. I'm leaning towards using the max for the tanks and I'll make other grow beds. I put these two up in a frame. I'm trying to recycle some of this wood that came from other projects, but it's a little warped and I don't like the height. Um, to me, that's too high. So I was waiting to see how far we get the hole dug to where the top of the sump will be and uh, then I'll adjust the height um, accordingly so it will drain properly. I did level and set two of the pallets from the uh, IBCs down right here. Uh, I'm going to put the first fish tank on this pallet because this is the one I'm going to be plumbing out the sides to the filters so when I add the second fish tank Whenever that is, it might be sooner rather than later. Especially if I cut, I mean, that's another thought. If I'm gonna have two fish tanks, I can cut the tops off and I have two 200 gallon fish tanks. You know, I should be, that should cover any, as much as I need in this backyard. I'll have to do some calculations and figure out if that will be enough. If it will, then I'll cut off the tops and make row beds. Anyway, that way I can just stick the second tank here and I can nibble them together or I might not nipple them together. I just might, you know, put a slow, um, I might nipple them and put a slow um, outlet going over, connecting to the slow here, and then going into the hole. And speaking of the hole, see all the pile of dirt? It's uh, pretty deep. It's about three foot deep, but, and I didn't do this myself. I, I hired somebody to come do it. There's no way he came in with a, electric chisel thing but it just needs to be squared out a little bit the bottom is you know it needs to be the totes i haven't measured um 
by the PDF, they're 40 inches by 48 inches. And I don't know if that's outside the cage or the bottle dimensions. So I gotta verify that. But we, regardless, we're gonna have to, you know, chisel the edges, make it a little more square. And then I'll put some uh, flat bricks on the bottom, drop the tub in, and uh, put the cage, I, I wanna put the cage around it, and then put some boards, probably some fence boards along the side. And then I'll put a cap on it with a lid so um, it stays clean in there. And uh, so, yeah, there's that. So a lot of progress there. Probably next week I'll be able to set the uh, tub and do that. So over here, the last part here is um, guy has been moving the concrete here and cleaning up and leveling spot here. So I'll, I'll be putting the pallets down and leveling them out. And then I'll build the uh, first flush filter and connect it to the, the rain gutter. Boop, right there. So that's we are, where we are at. It's January 28th or 27th or... I don't know. Look at the day that I publish it. It's January something. So that's it. And I'll see you on the next update.